All right, one thing that I get asked quite a bit is how to paint skin weights um, on a character in Maya after it's rigged and, and kind of bound to the skeleton. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this wrist controller here. And you can see that I have it set up with, if I click on index, that the index finger moves and obviously there's quite a bit of problem there. Uh, if I move this finger, uh, even worse. And I'm sure you've all experienced something like this. So I kind of want to address the way that I tackle it, okay? And um, I think this is really, you know, hopefully will be helpful uh, for you. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to set keyframes on these fingers, okay? So like, for example, on the index finger, I'm gonna go right click and go to key selected. And by the way, uh, maybe I'll do another video at some point to show how I set that up. But um, I'm assuming that you have something like this set up. And if I go to 10, I just middle mouse drag and drag to the right, I'm gonna key that. Okay, great. So now I have, I can scrub through and I can kind of see how that's affected. Now, if I select the, the skin in geometry or in object mode, and if I go to rigging, skin, paint skin weights. Now, if I double click on the tool, this comes up. And obviously, you know, assuming you have all your joints selected or all your joints named, I should say, it should be kind of easy to find. So if I go to hand, here it is. So this is the uh, hand, this is the wrist, and the white is showing the influence. So if I go here, I can see that um, that's influenced there, that's influenced there. And when I click on this one, I can see that, yeah, it's got a little bit of influence. Um, and if I go like this, I can see that it looks like the bottom of this is being pulled. So let's see what that's being influenced by. Okay, so it would be one of these joints and I'm not really seeing too much white there, but I feel like I should be seeing white here showing that it's influenced by that. I can also see that this is being influenced probably by one of these joints here. So if I went to the next one here, I can see that, yeah, sure enough, I can see that this joint is being affected, is affecting this finger, okay? Now, first things first, as far as the bind method that I like to use on the skin, when I bind the skin, I use, um, these are my settings, okay? So I, the bind method I put to ge geodesic voxel and the max influence I put to five, okay? Now we'll see that, what that means in a second, but um, I feel like if you use closest distance or some of these, uh, that can kind of get screwed up because I feel like what happens is that we could say technically this geometry is closer to this joint than it may be to like that joint, for example. And I might think that there's influence and it looks like that's happening a little bit here but I feel like geodesic voxel basically tries to only have what is it's contained in um, affected rather than kind of its neighbor geometry over here. But I feel like we can see that it's still not a perfect system. I still need to do some edits, okay? But yeah, now I can start to see this is really my problem is that it looks like this finger is causing this finger to uh, to stay back, okay? And, th and the reason is because this finger is not moving. If I moved this finger, so if I went like this, if I selected this finger and moved the middle finger, I can see that, yeah, that's why it's pulling this stuff down is because we can see that it had influence on that. So the problem that I see 90%, or I would say 99% of the people make on this is they think, well, I don't want this finger to affect it. So what they'll do, not you guys, but other people, right? Is they'll go to this finger and they'll paint black on here. Okay, so they put the opacity and the value to zero and then they'll paint black on there. And what would happen is that now that is no longer influenced by this joint. So that could kind of temporarily fix it. The problem with that method is that you don't know what 
Maya will assign in its place. So, in other words, I never, ever basically paint with a value of zero. I never paint black. Instead, what I do is this. I'm going to go back to this finger and say, I'm going to have a value of one, an opacity of one, and I'm going to go ahead and paint. Now I'm going to say, instead of saying I don't want that to be a part of this finger, instead what I'm saying is I do want it to be a part of this finger. Okay? And I can see how it's kind of going into place. And it looks like I've got some stragglers here. Okay? Uh, maybe that one's going to be the next joint, so maybe I'll leave that. And you can see that because I have it keyed, I can kind of play on that. But you can see these stragglers here. I'm like, ah, what the heck? Well, what I could do is instead of trying to paint those, I'm going to go to Vertex and I'm going to grab these vertices. I'm going to grab the points. And then I'm going to hold down Shift greater than, which is the period key. And I'm just going to grab all of these. Uh, and I'm just going to keep doing that because I want all of that to be influenced to this joint. So instead of trying to paint that, I can go to Window, General Editor, and then I can go to, I'm sorry, I'm going to go to, yeah, the General Editor's Component Editor. And when I go to the Component Editor, you can see the, all these tabs at the top. On Smooth Skin, I can see that these are all of the joints that are affecting um, that are being affected by these vertices. And if I click on just one, I can see that it has one, two, three, four, five possible joints that could be affecting that one vertex. Why is it five? Because when we bound it initially, I said it can have a max of five. That's why we're seeing five here. Now, it doesn't say it has to be five, but it's a max of five. So in this one vertex right here, it's being affected by the index finger the second joint on the index finger, the third joint on the index finger, a little bit of the middle finger, a little bit of the middle finger, and a little bit more of uh, in another index finger. Well, I only want it to be on this joint here, which is index finger two. So what I could do instead of trying to paint that, I could just say, I could type in a one and hit enter. And now I should select all these. So I'm just gonna go select it, shift greater than, and you might get more than five because this is showing us all the influence of all the dots I have selected. So now I'm just going to find index two. And if I have a long list, I can just click on the top, scroll to the bottom, hold down shift, type in one, and now hit enter. Now I can see that all of those are on that finger. And when I scrub, hey, that's good. Okay, so I'm going to go to the next one here. And I have to be in object mode. I'm going to double click on this again. And now I'm going to go to the next one. So this is joint, or this is um, index here. And now I can paint one. Because remember, I only paint one. I don't try to take away. I only add. And by adding, is, what I'm doing is I'm taking away from other areas. OK. So there we go. And I can see here, I'm going to wait for it to kind of bend completely like that. And in this area here, what I might do is go to Smooth. And then I can come here and smooth that out. Mm, I'm not really liking how that looks. I'm going to go to Replace. There we go. Get that kind of get, you know, wrangle that in place. If I hold down B and left mouse click, that'll change the size of this. There we go. And now I'll go to Smooth. I can smooth that. With Smooth, I could also hit Flood. So if I hit Flood, you can see that it kind of smooths it out and go to replace. So it's kind of like I'm sculpting, but with, um, you know, with, with weight here. There we go. Aha, yeah, that, that's looking really good. I like that. And I can also see that back here, I feel like I'm getting a nice fold. It doesn't feel like it's um, like rubber. Um, and that's because I have more influence painted up there. And same with here. I, I like how that's folding as well. Okay. Nice. So now let's take a look at, I can see the tip of this finger. Once again, instead of trying to paint black, I'm going to go like this. Now I'm going to move to the next finger. I'm going to select this. 
and I'm going to key this. I don't want it to key it the same way as this one. So instead, I'm going to go to frame 20. I'm going to right click, go to key selected, and I'm going to go to 40. Bring this down all the way and press S. Um, now I can scrub through. And uh, once again, it's easy to see my problems. But first off, I'm going to click on this, go here, double click. I'm going to go to my middle finger. Okay, actually middle finger two is what I want. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint that all with that. Or if I wanted to go into my component editor, I could do that as well. I can see that there's white here. You, once again, you might be tempted to paint zero there, but once again, if you paint zero there, assume that Maya will do a bad job and might assign the foot to have influence there. Okay, that's why we don't ever take away. And uh, instead, I'm just gonna kinda go ahead and add what I need to here. And now if I scrub, okay, I can see that, first of all, I can see that that finger is fixed. The end of the finger is fixed because this one's moving and that one's not. Now when I bring this down, I feel like, oh, I've gotta fix this. And this finger is kind of getting a little messy right now, but hey, that's okay. I'm gonna go in maybe with my smooth or maybe with replace. And um, just kind of work this. And if I go to this one here, let's see what that does. Okay, great. And I could paint this one so it folds as well. On the back, there we go. Kind of at the knuckle might be kind of the most difficult place to get that, you know, get it absolutely correct. Let's see what this is looking like. Oh yeah, I'm liking that a lot. Okay. And once again, I feel like this next one's so extremely bad. I'll just kind of do one more. I think that you're probably getting the hang of this. So I'm gonna go to the next one here and I'm gonna to go to frame 40. Um, and once again, at the um, frame 40, this is the ring finger. I'll press S, oh, key selected. And then I'll go to frame 60, middle mouse drag, right click, key selected. Okay, once again, such a mess here. Don't worry, I'm just gonna kind of put this in a bad position right there, you know, where it's kind of, there's a lot of problems. Come in here, and now I'll simply find the, um, the joint. So this is ring, and ring two is what I want. Now, maybe I go like this. You know, I, I know I want all of the end of that to be, you know, all ring two. So maybe what I'll do is just grab a vertex get into vertex mode. Grab a vertex. And then once again, shift greater than and grab all of these vertices. And sometimes what I do is say this, you know what, let me kind of correct this. I'm just gonna get all of this, even more than I need onto this joint here. Now I'll go back to my um, component editor and you can see that uh, I don't want any of this junk. I only want it to be, this would be middle two, I believe. So right here, hit enter. Whoop, not 13, there we go. Okay, now that's, um, okay, I think that's wrong. Hold on here one second. I might have this joint named incorrectly. So if I select this joint here, because this is the one I want it weighted to, and I can see that that one's called the ring 02. Well, that makes sense. I was doing it the wrong one. So, so now if I go here, grow the selection, just get all of that. And this is ring 02. Okay, here it is, ring 02. And then press one, Whoop. once again. Now I can see that, hey, I've got a way better starting point, right? 
And now I'm going to have to go in and I knew that I grabbed more than I needed to. So I can kind of come in here and kind of fix this paint uh, or this weighting here. I'll come into ring one and uh, kind of apply that, maybe smooth out, you know, what, really whatever I need to do here. Um, but hopefully, you know, hopefully this was helpful and you can kind of start to see some of the potential. I, I still have obviously some work to do. Um, and maybe I smooth out, so flood, aha, yeah, there we go, nice. And now maybe I'll go back to replace. And here you can see that I, if I kind of um, give more influence to this, it's gonna feel like there's more kind of a, a muscle kind of bulge back there. And we can kind of even get the knuckle here too. So now, even up here, I can kind of get this. And if it's hard to reach, I can kind of come back here, and now I can kind of paint that like that. There we go. Aha, now I'm liking how that's kind of folding over. Okay, so I still, once again, I still have some work to do. Obviously, I worked on the pinky and um, do that, but I feel like the moral of the story is never use replace zero always use replace 10 or replace one. And if you need to, you can use general editors, component editor, and then manually type in a value. So hopefully that was helpful. I feel like I know skin weights are not the most exciting thing on the planet, but I feel like if you found this uh, video helpful, please subscribe. I'm trying to um, have a new video every week and to kind of give you the best kind of tips and tricks that I can with all your 3D and graphic needs. So, all right guys, until next time, have a great one. Thank you.